Um, there we go. Oh, my mic wasn't working for some reason. Hi, everyone. How are we doing today? I, I don't know why my mic wasn't working. It's was just playing up, I guess. I've recently just got a new desk, so I had to unplug everything from my PC, plug everything back in, and since then, I've been having no end of issues of things not working right. So, yeah. What's new on the agenda? I saw people talking about gouging fire and not getting banned, which is interesting. Um, but, uh, yeah, it's pretty cool stuff. Use it with some flora. <laughs> I haven't seen me use Weavile in a minute. No, I, um, I'll put on a team soon. I've been meaning to use it. Just, you know, I haven't yet. <laughs> you found your first Scarlet and Violet shiny, a tentacle. Nice. Tentacle's got a nice shiny. I do like it. I think it looks especially good with the whole, like, with the, with the way the textures work in this game. It's pretty cool. But yeah, the camera up team's going to be a trick room team. Um, I'm still figuring out what to put on there with it. It's, I mean, I mean, it's, it's in the process. I've got like four of the six mons ready. Does that make sense? Four of the six. So, yeah, 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 yeah. Right. Are we going to get into these battles? Are you ready to search? So, everyone get the code ready. It's the usual code. Ten, eleven, nine, nine, six. I'll put it. I'll put it in the chat. There we go. Bum 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 ultimate ninja sensei. Welcome to the stream. How are you doing today? Right, I'm searching on that code. So whoever gets it first gets it first. Let's go. Let's do this. Let us do this. I've got a pretty low latency. So there is a bit of a... And there's no lag. There should be much lag. Ron, who's Ron in the chat? Who's Ron? Put your hand up, Ron. Who is that? <laughs> My own mask on. I complete it. completely ignore it. <laughs> Weavile is Weavile's a good Pokemon. I just I like to use my lower tier stuff. You assume the camera team will also have a drought Pokemon somewhere in there. Uh, I didn't. Oh, I I haven't yet. No, but that's a good idea. Give it get add some extra power to those eruptions. I'm thinking like choice spec camera type thing. So this is the new team that I'm working with, and it's got a really cool Embor design. But who's run anyway? Oh, Common W, is that you? Oh, brilliant. Good luck, have fun, Common W. I'll call you Ron. Good luck, have fun, Ron. Hopefully, it's a fair game. And like, all, as I say in all my streams, um, low latency. So, you'll be able to stream snipe me if you really want to. But I j obviously, all I can say is, please don't stream snipe me. <laughs> please don't stream snipe me. So, that's a tough looking team, I will say. But we have got stuff for some of the things on there. Um, I think the probable lead is going to be the Iron Valiant or the... I don't think the lead would be great. So I think I think leading with Empoleon does pretty well. I think that's definitely a good shout. So let's go for it. Let's go for it. Let us go for it. Let us go for it. Oh dear. Where's the tomatoes, hamburger, and red pepper ingredients? Oh, I don't know. I can't remember. <laughs> I cannot remember. Magnezone, my beloved. Hi. Who's Magnezone? Huh? Okay, okay, okay. Come on, Ron. Let's do this. Let us do this. I'm hoping Embo can put some work in. Really hoping Embo can put some work in. But we shall see. We shall see. Let's see how this plays out. Hopefully. Right, Ron. Good luck. Have fun. Let's do this. Let us do this. We're in the Blueberry Academy as well, which is really cool. Fezans. That's the Slow King. Interesting. So... We go into our Empoleon, they go into Slow King. And we're probably going to see a chilly reception right now. Or a future site. So I'm going to flip turn straight away. And I'm going to go into something a bit more equipped to deal with this thing. So flip turn comes through. Bit of chip damage. And back we go. Back we go. You recently finished training a Haxorus. Haxorus is a powerful Pokemon. I will say. I will say that's a very powerful Pokemon. So... Let's go into um, Excadrill, just in case they sludge bombed. I don't think they would. Like, they might predict the switch and go for a sludge bomb. I don't know. Nice and shiny. Gotta love it. Get that Mold Breaker going on. They go ahead and go for a Chilly Reception. Yes, they tell a chillingly bad joke. QU plus Clefable versus OU looks interesting. <laughs> okay. They do go ahead, they go ahead and get out of there with the Chilly Reception, which is fine. Let's see how we handle this. How do we handle this? Hmm. Nah. That's the 
That's the uh, Great Tusk. That's a problem. So we could make the ballsy play and predict the Salamence. I say ballsy because they could easily go for an Ice Spinner. Hurricane will probably miss in the snow. Um, I could Terra... I could Terra Ghost. But there's any point because I can't really do anything to them. I'd like to keep my Excadule around as well. I think I'll go Salamence. They more than likely go for... They either predict, if they predict the Switch and go for an Ice Spinner or they go for a Stealth Rock, so be it. I think they do go straight for the KO with a close combat though because it hurts a lot of my team. So there's the Salamence, nice and shiny, gotta love it. Get that Intimidate off. And then they go for a close combat. So we are in a good position here because now, oh wait, I've just realized my layout covers up the, um, covers up the, uh, the thing, doesn't it? Let's move that up a bit. There, that'll do. Not too in the way, is it? Not too in the way. Um, right, let's go, let's just, um, Looking at the team, I'd say if we drop a Draco, we could be all right. They probably go Iron Valiant though. No, because if we're expecting a dual wing bee or something, I think they go into the gang, uh, the Goldengo really. Let's drop a Draco and find out. See what they do. So they withdraw. You know, I'm just gonna get rid of that. I'm just gonna get rid of that for now because it's in the way. I can't figure out where to put it. Sloking comes through. So we go for the Draco Meteor. We do hit, which is great because I would rather not waste my Blunder policy just yet just yet um so i'm gonna switch out now they probably go for another chili reception which probably brings them back into the great tusk so if i if i predict that um hmm. i think the best thing for us to do here is to roost yeah i'm gonna roost i'm gonna roost because they're probably gonna go for a chili reception they don't go for an ice beam surely Surely not. Future Sight, yeah. Future Sight's fine. So we got our health back. And now they're probably going to force the another... Uh, they're going to go for a chill reception, sorry. So I'm going to go back into Excadrill now. Go back into the Excadrill. And then we should be golden. This is going to be a tough team to take down, though. That's for sure. That is for sure. That is for sure. OD says there's some sick shinies. Thank you. Caddy, welcome to the stream. How are we doing? No vertical stream. Yeah, I'm trying a horizontal stream just to see how it does. Test the waters a bit. Um, because they're obviously... I don't know. I'll probably just do... um, Probably just do vertical streams and horizontal streams mix up a bit. Right, so we're going to float in the air of a rare balloon. They go for a toxic. Not going to work, I'm afraid. Not going to work. Snow does stop as well. So now, it, we can just go for an EQ and that hits everything pretty hard. So they might actually just let this thing go down. I don't think they do though. I think they switch out, but into what? That's the real question. That is the real question. Sizzle can't live roost anymore. F in the chat. Yeah. <laughs> F in the chat for Sizzle. Poor Sizzle. Can't do anything right, can it? Guess defog at least. Guess defog at least. That's something. Right, they're going to withdraw the slow king. And they're going to go into what? The Nair. Nair comes through the Great Tusk. We get a free Earthquake off of the Great Tusk. And it does a decent amount of damage. But we do get the Future Side Attack, which breaks our Air Balloon, unfortunately. Um, there we go. It's popped. But now I'm thinking, if we assume that they're going to expect us to go into Salamence, we should just, like, stay in. Maybe. See if we're faster. If we, think, if we think they're going to go for an Ice Spinner. Maybe Clefable's the way to go. But I want to keep that around. I really want to keep that around. Um, we don't even know if we've got Ice Spinner. Let's Swords Dance find out. So we go for a Swords Dance. I think they're going to go for an Ice Spinner. So it's a risky play. But, you know, we, we like to we like to play, make risky plays. They go for a Stealth Rocks. Interesting. So Stealth Rocks comes through. Stealth Rocks comes through. And now... After their leftovers, I'm pretty confident they'll go for an attack that's going to hurt my Salamence. That, that, that's going to hurt my Excadrill now. Like close combat. It's like Terra. I could Terra, couldn't I? I could Terra. Um, hmm. We assume they're going to go for a headlong rush or a close combat. Probably the close combat because it hits the Salamence for a little bit of damage as well. But then we get Stealth Rock damage on that as well. Hmm. Screw it. I might actually just go for a Terra Ghost here. 
yeah, I'm going to Terra Ghost Rapid Spin. I don't see any reason not to. I think they go for a close combat because it hits the... Um, it hits the... Um, what do you call it? Your live ended. It shouldn't have ended. I didn't, I didn't hit drop the stream or anything like that. Oh, you fixed it? Oh, okay. <laughs> Still remember the video where your sizzle was Terra Steel and was able to live a flamethrower? I know. That was crazy, wasn't it? Right, we're going to go for a Rapid Spin, get rid of them Stealth Rocks, Terra Ghost. And they go for a close combat. Brilliant. So now we're in a very good position because we've got a speed boost and a sword dance. There's Steven in the chat. There's Steven in the chat. Mochi, um, I think people are waiting for... I think people search on that code when I'm done battling, usually. So like, if everyone wants to search the code now and they can link up and get battles of each other, that'd be cool. All right, let's go for an EQ. We should be able to take the Great Tusk out from here at plus two. Yeah, Excadrill coming through with the plus one speed and the plus two sword dance. I think we played that schedule really well there. Not to humble myself or anything, but I think we did all right. I think we did all right, to be honest with you. I really do think we did all right. What's Xerneas? The Iron Valiant. Nice and shiny as well. Look at that beauty. It's going to pop a booster energy and get some speed. That's fine. Um, I want to keep my... Uh, they're going to go for a knockoff, probably. Where's the vertical stream? Oh, I'm trying the horizontal stream for a change. Just to see um, see how people see if people prefer it or not. Um, but I'll probably jump to vertical streams again for the next one. So they go for a shadow ball. Interesting. So that should bounce right off my table. Yeah. Bounces right off. If the flamethrower had stab, it would have made this up. But you probably, yeah. Most likely. All right, looking at their team, they don't have a hazard clearer anymore, so let's get them stealth frogs up. I think that's the way to go. So they go for a calm mind. Now, we have unaware, so we're not really bothered about the calm mind. Not really too fussed about the calm mind. Stealth frogs come through. I'm doing pretty well, Andrew. Thank you. Yourself. How are you doing today? How are you doing today? Uh, let's just go for a Moonblast because we have unaware. So we should bypass their special defense boost. Encore. Oh, they have Encore. Okay, so Calm Mind, Shadow Ball, Encore, and then probably Moonblast, right? In other words, we are probably safe to go for a Switch. I think we're probably safe to go for a Switch. It's Lazy Boy123. Welcome to the stream. How are you doing today? Let's go for the Empoleon switch. We've got no hazards or anything to worry about. We can just switch out. Curious Sal. Hey, welcome to the stream. How you doing? I hope I pronounced it right. Is it Sal or Sal? Sol? I don't know. You prefer the horizontal streams, Lazy Boy? Oh, we've got two Lazy Boys in the chat. Nice. Two Lazy Boys. Now we, all we need is a third, and then we can do that Spider-Man meme. Let's go for the Flash Cannon. May as well just go for the KO on this thing. Should do a lot of damage, because it doesn't look like they've got a fighting type move. Doesn't look like I've got a fighting type move at all. So we should be good. Should. Very, very, it's very much a should moment. Let's see what they do. The Fable is a monster if used correctly. It is. Such a monster if used correctly. How do you battle with the link code when I put it in? It just goes to a regular random wife belt. Um, so you go on link battle and then you enter the code. Um, link battle, single battle. Enter the code. I'll show you after this game. I'll show, I'll show you what you meant to do. Right. They're going to withdraw the Iron Valley. It makes sense. And they're going to go into Gyokuriz. Gyokuriz? Goldengo. Nice. Stealth Rock's going to inflect on that thing. We go for a Flash Cannon. Dab on the Flash Cannon. There we go. And no defense drops, which is unfortunate. Now, this thing could have Focus Blast. So, I'm going to flip turn. Because I can take a Focus Blast on the Thunderbolt, no problem. And at least we get a free switch on this Goldengo, because I hate facing Goldengo. Greetings from Mexico. You love the content, keep going. Maestro, hey, welcome to the stream. Thank you for that, I appreciate it. Is Shiny Superior or Shiny Flygon change? Shiny Flygon is, Shiny Superior isn't. I like Shiny Superior. I don't really like Shiny Flygon, so I changed it. I changed it. Right. Let's see what this Goldengo wants to do. 
Let us see what it wants to do. You got a, you got a star raid? Let's go. Oh, brilliant. <laughs> so we avoid the focus blast. I'm assuming it was a focus blast. I looked away for a second. That's fine. We would have lived it anyway, but it would have obviously put us at a low amount of health. Enjoy watching mine on Hayden's streams. Oh, brilliant. Yeah, Hayden's, Hayden's a really good content creator. Really good content creator. Okay, Embor, it could be your time. Gengar, it could be your time. I think it's Embor's time. Bring it in. Let's bring Ganon in. Calamity Ganon. Boom. There we go. So this Ganon is obviously, if you haven't played Breath of the Wild, you probably don't look like it. But um, this is a reference to Calamity Ganon from, uh, what do you call it? Breath of the Wild. So that's, that's just a fun fact for you. So nothing on his team wants to take a flare blitz, that's for sure. Of course it missed, always does. Focus miss, it's called focus miss for a reason, right? Rolled, hey, welcome to the stream, how are you doing today? They go for another focus blast? Ah, that's risque against an Embor. Boom, we would have lived that anyway. You want to use your Flygon team or one of your son of you as a team? Ooh. Use the Flygon. Big pig energy. <laughs> Ogapon comes through. So I am leaning towards switching out here, but I'm also leaning towards... Mm. Yeah, I think I'm going to switch out. I don't know what to go into, though. Probably Empoleon's the best, right? I'd say the Empoleon's the best one to go into. I'd say. It's just we've always Wi-Fi battling. Yeah, of course. That's all they ever do. I just battle all the time, pretty much. And now that I've finally finished Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, I can concentrate more on battles and stuff like that. I was just taking a little bit of a... Wait, that did way too much damage for a crit. So let's Ice Beam this thing just to get some damage off. I don't really need him putting on too much. And we don't live, unfortunately. So that's fine. Dark Beast Ganon, exactly, exactly. I think it's come out pretty nice. I think it, if you don't know the context of it, or you've you've never heard of Legend of Zelda games or Ganon or anything like that, I think it looks pretty bad. But if you know what if you know what it all is, then it looks fine. That's that's my reasoning behind it. So we go into Gengar now. No reason not to. We outspeed. Nice and shiny. Oh, it looks really, really, really bright in this stadium. Wow. So looking at that team, I would say we, we probably expect the King Gambit to come in or something, right? Let's just play it safe. Let's just play it safe. Where's that wild charge on the Ember for the for, Ember for the fire type? You mean for the water types, right? What do you mean for the water types? I've actually found... I, I actually didn't find myself in many positions where wild charge would actually work. Because most of the water types outspeed it. So I, I put like Earthquake on there, Close Combat, Flare Blitz, and Sucker Punch. Sucker Punch has been surprisingly useful for catching people off guard. So they're going to withdraw the Ogre Palm. And they're probably going to go King Gambit, right? Yeah, King Gambit comes in. So in theory, I could have tricked that thing. King Gambit, bringing it out earlier is actually pretty good. So we go for a Sludge Bomb. Um, malicious Smile. Yeah. <laughs> so King Gambit is an interesting Pokemon. So... We can assume it's going to go for a sword dance. And I think the best thing to do is go into Ember right now, expecting a sword dance. Because we resist both its stabs. The microphone keeps falling. Off the Whatever. I'm going to leave it like that. Okay, so that hurt, but not as much as this is going to hurt. As once again, we're in a good position where Flare Blitz has no switchings. Even if they Terra right now. We should be alright. We should be alright if we Terra. <clears throat> oh yeah, you're not a vertical stream? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm trying out a horizontal stream for a change. I only want to fight OU, but they only want to fight you. <laughs> the AI in your raid is using Weavile. That's pretty cool. Let's see how this works out for Embor though. Hopefully it works out alright. Hopefully. Good thing Gengar is a ghost, otherwise he would stay. <laughs> I'm actually thinking of the change in the Gengar because 
White is like such a cliche shiny color for Gengar. I know it looks good, but it's like... I had some other ideas in mind for Gengar. Go for a flare blitz anyway. Watch this slow king go, get, go down. Yep. And obviously we're going to go down to the recoil, unfortunately. But slow king goes down. We struggle to build a non OU team. Dude, I do as well. I, I mainly just make mixed OU teams. So I'm using them... Teams that have lower tiers in and all that stuff. By the way, I've got Lico Sprigatito. No? What's that? All right, in comes the Iron Valiant. So we can still use Embor for the Sucker Punch shenanigans. They probably go for a Calm Mind anyway. And we have the Clefable in the back, so it's not a big deal. Let's just go for it. Let's just go for it. Galactica comes in. There we go, that's better. I'm, I'm, one of the things on my mic's um, was loose. So my microphone kept falling down. In fact, it's falling down still. That's annoying. Let's go for a Moonblast anyway. No reason not to go for a Moonblast. We can take anything this wants to go for. They're going to Terror though. Interesting. So what type are they going to Terror into? Ember, I'm going to take myself down with you. <laughs> yeah, but he lived. He lived. Terror Ghost. For that extra Shadow Ball damage. Fair enough. And there's the Shadow Ball. We should be able to sponge it, though. There we go. Watch it do nothing. There we go. You do nothing. Nothing at all. That did nothing either. <laughs> Great. Okay. So. We go for a Moonlight here. There's no reason not to. They may go for a Can't Mind or Withdraw. They do withdraw. Are they going to go into the King Gambit? Yeah, King Gambit comes in. So at least we know they're not going to Terra with that thing. But we get some he health back with the Moonlight at least. Uh, I just don't know what I'm going to do against this King Gambit. Probably Swords Dance, right? Probably Swords Dance. So... I say we sack off Embor. That's what I'm thinking. Embor, sack off. Embor, sack it off. There we go. Ganon comes through. Nice and shiny. Gotta love it. Oh, Liko's the new MC. Oh, yeah. I saw Liko was a new MC um, for the Pokemon anime. I just... I didn't know there was a mystery gift for the star. That's pretty cool. Right. So, we, we can get the Intimidate off at least. So, let's go into Salamence. Like so. Nice and shiny. Gotta love it. Get that Intimidate off because it's not Defiant. So, we don't have to worry about that. And then I guess we just go for a Fire Blast here. Because they probably go for a Sucker Punch, right? Is this coming down to the timer? It is. That is unfortunate. That is unfortunate that it came down to the timer. But it is what it is. It's a good battle. Fire Blast comes through. Stings a little bit. Could get the burn. Doesn't get the burn. They go for a Kalto Cleave. That's going to do a lot of damage. So now... I go for a Roost because they go for a Sucker Punch, right? So we go for a roost to counteract the sucker punch. That's what I would do. Yeah, see the trying sucker punch. So we go for the roost. That way we can live another hit. And then we can go for a fire blast before the game ends, hopefully. There we go. And now we go for a fire blast. Now we go for a fire blast. But obviously the battle's gonna end. But I, I wanted to play it how I would play it if the time wasn't gonna end. You know? So there's the sucker punch. So we're gonna live that. We're going to miss the Fire Blast. We don't. Nice. So we take out the King Gambit. Sweet. So I, I think I think we had a good shot of winning that. Do you know what's um, really cool? Ever since I've put Blunder Policy on this Salamence, I haven't missed a single Hurricane or Fire Blast once. My moves just don't miss anymore because of it. It's not. It's obviously just a coincidence, but it's like it's pretty wild how that happens. Isn't it? So let's go for a Hurricane anyway. We're probably going to die to this Iron Valiant. We have the Clefable in the back, so it's not a big deal. GG run though, that was a pretty fun one. It's a shame about the timer, but you know, it is what it is. It is what it is. Did you just get an ad, nobody? I don't know, I haven't pressed the ad button. I, I always have like, I have um, adverts at the start of the stream. But there shouldn't be any adverts in between the stream because I've got it set up so that I have to press a button if there's an ad, I think. Unless YouTube just takes control sometimes. I don't know. I don't know how it works with live streams, I'm still new to live streams. <laughs> 
<laughs> All right. So, the next battle is underway in a second. I should figure this out. Oh. Sorry if you can hear this, but I'm just having a fight with my microphone. There we go. That's a bit better. I think Hayden said something about that as well. What the blunder policy? <laughs> hey, Rold. Welcome to the stream. How are you doing today? You brought a VGC Ogre Pond by accident. <laughs> hey, it happens. It happens, right? It happens. Right, just give me a second. I'll search. Okay. Searching on the code, everyone. Use the code there. Searching on the code. Trixie! It's Trixie. I know who Trixie is. But put your hand up in there if you want to. Good luck, have fun, Trixie. We'll have a fun one. We'll have a fun in. Use the Embor team again. I have got another team that I'm going to use for the stream. I just haven't got it in my battle box yet. Gazero wants this battle big time. I'm sure you'll get it eventually. Oh, Trixie. Trixie. Hmm. The Annihilate and the Giratina. That Mono Ghost team, that's cool. Mono Ghost with a Giratina. And Sony. Are you doing college work while you listen to the stream? I'm sorry for pronouncing your name wrong, by the way. I am rubbish at pronouncing my names. Rubbish is it. So, Embo could put some work in with a Sucker Punch. Gengar going to put some work in with a Choice Scarf shenanigans. The Fable will do some work as well against the Giratina. Um. Hmm. Let us see what we're going to do here. I think the best thing to do is this. Because if I'm right, that Annihilate's going to king. It's going to final gambit me or something. <laughs> At last time I faced an Annihilate on stream, it just it king gambit, it final gambit me. And then they bought another Pokemon, went for a copycat, copycat the final gambit and went for another one. Hmm. Don't get your battle by the third match. It'll be the five streams you failed to get your battle. Sorry, Gazero. It's just the only way I can really do it without, with it being fair. It's, I mean, I know it's not really fair when you're not getting your battle, but... Um, this thing doesn't get Earthquake or Close Combat, so I'm going to go for a flip turn. They go for a flip turn of their own. That's brilliant. Does a lot of damage. One of the few people that got your name right? Really? I'm always pronouncing people's names wrong. And to hear that's just amazing. Yeah. <laughs> Who is Big Daddy? Yeah, who matches up with Mochi called Big Daddy? That's funny. Little Winger? Let's go for a flip turn on this thing. I haven't faced the Giratina yet. Pretty cool. It looks really good in this game. I love how big it is. Combo King, hey, welcome to the stream. How are you doing today? I'll be doing just fine. Let's go Cliff Able. Galactica. So if I'm right, I don't think they've got a Defogger on the team. Don't think they've got a, def a Defogger or like that. It doesn't look like it. So if I get the Stealth Frogs up now, that's going to be good. Because they might go for a Shadow Force here. Yeah, Gazero, you'll, you'll, you'll get a battle at some point, I'm sure. I'm sure. Right, we get the Stealth Frogs up. Let's see if we're fully paralyzed. We're not. Great, cool. The Clefable is able to take on this Giratina pretty well here. Um... Now we just go for a Moonblast, right? No reason not to. Oh, they have Defog on Giratina. I didn't know we got a Defog. You can tell I never faced Giratina, can't you? But it gives us a free Moonblast, so that's all right. Bit of damage. Bit of damage. Can't go wrong. Let's go for another Moonblast. Hex comes through. That's going to sting a little bit, but not too much. There we go. Less than half. And we couldn't move because we got paralyzed. Great. So... Now that we know what kind of Giratina this is, I'm looking at the damage Moonblast did. I think Gengar can take it out. So if we go for the Moonblast again here and try and get the damage off, I'm not going to do the Moonlight shenanigans like that I want to do. I'm just going to weaken the Giratina for the Gengar to come through. What if we get fully paralyzed? We don't. Moonblast comes through. There we go. Now it can easily be finished off by the Gengar, that's for sure. 
Lulu, hi, welcome to the stream. How are you doing today? How are you doing today? Good terror. Poison. No, not really. Uh, yeah, we let Clefable go down. I've got no switch-ins. Hex comes through. There we go. Down we go. So we lose to Clef we lose to Giratina, unfortunately, with the Clefable. But all is not lost. We have got the Gengar. We have got the extra drill. We've got the Salamence. We're going to go into the Gengar one. Your big daddy, Lulu. <laughs> okay. Shadow Ball. There we go. Let's go for the Shadow Ball on the G uh, Giratina. I need to call that a Gengar. It's not a Gengar. That's my Pokemon. Right, let's see what this Giratina wants to do. Watch him have Shadow Sneak and it KOs me. Just watch. Just watch. Now they've got Thunder Wave, Defog, Hex. Should be alright. Gi Giratina goes down there. They don't really have a switch into Choice Scarf, Gengar's um, Shadow Balls on the team with it being Mono Ghost. So we were alright to take out the Giratina. Nicely done. If I do say so myself. If I do say so myself. What are they going to go into now, though? They've got nothing that outspeeds us. Unless they... I think they had a Gengar. Their, their Gengar could be Choice Scarf as well. Spike. Their Gengar. Nice and shiny as well. So, we don't know what kind of Gengar set that is. They don't necessarily know where Choice Scarf is because the Gir Giratina gets outspeed by Gengar naturally. So, I think I'm going to go into my Empoleon. Bloodshot Gengar. <laughs> yeah. I did actually make his eyes purple, but... I actually prefer the red. I don't know why. It's just something about it. I'm going to change the shiny anyway because I don't like the white too much. I think it's a bit cliche. But they're going to terror. What are they going to terror into? Dark. Ooh. That would have caught my Gengar off guard. That's for sure. As they go for a dark pulse, that's going to sting a little bit, but not too much. Won't two it kill us. Nearly does, though. Nearly does. Uh, I guess we go for a flip turn here. They go for another Dark Pulse. They might flinch us. If they, if they flinch us, so be it. Oof. Damage. We go for a flip turn now. Get some damage off on them. And then we get a free switch into whatever we want. And I'm leaning towards my own Gengar, to be honest with you. And like Terra. Or I'm leaning towards... Ember could be really good. Because if they're locked in, like I think they might be, because that damage that they did to my Assault Vest Empoleon was way too high. So I think the choice specs. So I'm going to assume the choice specs, and I'm going to look at the team, and I'm thinking Flare Blitz goes hard. Flare Blitz goes very hard, other than the Skeletor Dirge. We could go for an Earthquake as well, actually. I think Earthquake goes hard. I think Earthquake goes very good against... So they do withdraw. Are they going to go Skeletor Dirge? Aggression. That's going to be Skeletor Dirge, right? Annihilate? That would not have taken a Flare Blitz. Let's see how much Earthquake does. Nearly half, but not quite enough. That is unfortunate. Very unfortunate. Um, so what do we do? I guess we go Empoleon. Just to sack it off. And then we get a free switch into Gengar. And go for a Shadow Ball from there. I think that's the way to go. So let's withdraw, go into Empoleon real quick. Hopefully they are a Choice Scarf variant that has Final Gambit and they go for it here. That'd be great. Rage Fist? Nope. That's a 100 base power right now, isn't it? Yeah, I think it's 100 base power because we damaged it already. But I'm leaning towards Gengar getting the KO here. They still have their Gengar, which we have to be worrying about. Uh, we could go Salamence and Hurricane, but then they go for an Ice Punch and KO us. I think Gengar is the best way to go. Gengar's got to be the best place to go. So, I could go Terra Fairy into Dazzling Gleam. I'm leaning more towards Shadow Ball, though. I am going to go for a Shadow Ball. Yeah, I think it KOs the Annihilate. Oh, barely! Oh, that's unfortunate. We get the cursed body at least. No, we didn't even get the cursed body. Oh, it barely dodged the KO. That's crazy. That's crazy. Barely dodged the KO. Okay. If we assume the Defiant, we don't go into this because Intimidate is going to really hinder us. We don't know what set they are, so I'm going to go into Ganon via Embor. 
There we go. Calamity Ganon is here. And I guess we go for a sucker here. We've got to go for a sucker, I think. Sucker Punch comes through. Down goes the Annihilate. So there we go. So Annihilate going down is great for us. I think Emball is going to be the key to winning this with Sucker Punches. Spike comes through. The Gengar. So what was our switching again? <laughs> what was our switching again? I think I think Extra Draw, because I think they go for a Psychic or a Dazzling Gleam or a Shadow Ball or something. I don't think they go for a Dark Pulse because it's resisted. Let's see what they do. Let us see what they do. The Extra Drill is here. They go ahead and go for Shadow Ball. So that's probably going to two shot us. It's fine. Don't necessarily need Extra Drill anymore. All I really need to do is go into... Yeah, let's go for an Earthquake. Just in case they didn't go for a Shadow Ball, they switched out. But they obviously stay in and go for a Shadow Ball. Obviously. You love the shiny M Ball. Thanks, Mamba. It's based on um, Calamity Ganon from Breath of the Wild. Right, now we go into you. Club Tropicana drinks are free. Nice and shiny. Gotta love it. You just gotta love it. Okay. So now, I go for a hurricane and I'm hoping I miss. Because if I miss, I get that blunder policy. There we go, that's some damage. Lowers the special defense, which is unfortunate. And do we miss? We miss, which is great. Because we get that blunder policy now. But now, the problem is, I've got to hit my next move as well. I can't roost because they'll KO us because they got the special defense drop. I guess I terrify a fire blast because it hits more. Hmm. They could have Aqua Jet on the Basque Legion, and that's the thing. Let's go for a hurricane again. Watch us hit watch us miss this time. They're gonna withdraw because they see the blunder policy. Fair enough. Dead fish comes in the Basque Legion. Let's see how this plays out. Hurricane comes through, we don't miss, which is nice. And we get the confusion? We do, yes! Notorious HIM, welcome to the stream. How are you doing today? Little lad Lucas, hey, welcome to the stream as well. Snubble as well, hey, how are you doing? Hope you're all doing good. Uh, Got to risk it for a chocolate biscuit right now, haven't we? Yep, yeah, let's risk it for a chocolate biscuit. Hurricane comes through nicely done. Salamence. Hitting two hurricanes in a row, that's awesome. Will they ever let Salamence stay on the ground again? You should watch my BDSP battles with Salamence. I used the mod that made it like be on the ground. It looks really cool. Pokemon is the best game, obviously. F anti-switch. <laughs> okay, so we're going to Terra here. Terra Hurricane, Drake. Oh, Drake and Meteor. I think Terra Hurricane. Just so that we can resist the... Well, we already resist the Torch Song, but just so that we can... Not be burned or anything like that. I don't want it to go for any will o wisp hex shenanigans or anything like that. You know what I mean? So, a terrifier. And hopefully I don't miss this next hurricane. We don't miss the hurricane, which is great. So hopefully it does more than 50%. It does. So we get a confusion as well. Salamence coming through. You're currently shiny you're currently shy hunting bag on? Oh nice. Torch song. That's gonna sting a little bit. Won't KO though, right? Does. <gasps> Ooh. Ooh. I should have Draco'd. I mean, no, it doesn't matter. Draco would have only done a little bit more damage. So now, Ascadia, subscribe. Thank you for the subscription. I appreciate it. Ember, it is your time. It is your time, Ember. Now, unfortunately, this Ember is choice banded. But they only have. Gengar and Sinister left. We go for an Earthquake here, right? No, because Sinister, the only way we can win this is with Flare Blitz. So we have to go for a Flare Blitz. We have to hope that they hurt themselves in confusion here. They do. Oh, wow, that, that could be clutch. As we go for a Flare Blitz, this should take it out. It's Choice Band Reckless Boosted. Yeah, it does. Is it Bagon or Bagon? Um, I I used to I usually well, I usually say Bagon. 
But I've heard people say bag on, so I kind of always go for bag on. <laughs> Don't know why. In comes Spike the Gengar. This thing's choice specs, isn't it? It's gotta be. Let us go for a flare blitz and see. Shadow Ball comes through. We can live one, I'm sure. We got a 5 HP stat. We do. But we do get the flare blitz off, which takes out the Gengar, but the recoil is too much, I think. So we made it quite close. We have the Sinister left, but you know, it is what it is. It was a pretty fun game, though. GG. I appreciate that one, Trixie. Always a fun battle. I think we did pretty well considering they had an Annihilate on a Giratina. You know, if you know what I mean, you know? I think we did pretty well for a 1 0 victory. <laughs> GG, though. GG. That was a fun one. Um, right. Okay. Wah, wah, wah. I couldn't sucker it. I couldn't sucker it because I was locked in with Choice Band. And I didn't want to sucker punch the Skeletors just in case it went for a, you know, like a slack off or anything like that. Oh well. Right, and all I ask is if you've already battled in this stream, don't search again. And I'm going to look for a stream, uh, 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 another player in a second. So we go searching on 10, 11, 9, 96. Like so. Let's go. Let's do it. Let's have another game. Gazero, there we go. I love the Lugia profile picture. Let's do this. Let's do this. If I remember rightly, our battle was really cool last time. You wrote some really cool stuff. Let's see what this Embor team can do against the might of Gazero. Let's do it. Let's do it. Ooh, is that the Felstinger Levani from. Oh, wow. You got a Weavile as well, Farling, Staraptor, Noctowl, and Primarina. Gotta love it. That's a really cool team. Really cool team. So if we assume Staraptor lead, maybe for the final Gambit. Now, I think we can probably safely lead with you and flip turn. Oh, let me do that. Do this and this and this. Let's go. Let's do it. Let's do it. Do it. It was a mono ghost team, so you have exceptions to Ubers. Ah, that's fair enough, Trixie. You know I don't mind what people bring to my battles anyway. You know, I'd rather people didn't bring box art legends, but at the same time, if you wanna, if it, if it's more fun for you to bring them, the more power to you. I'm I'm not gonna take away from the fun of it. Right, we're in the Bloomery Academy again, so let's see what Farlinx is gonna do. I'm gonna change the track for this game. Let's try that one. So Farlinx is a good lead, but. I think we, they might go for a no retreat. Let's go for a Clefable switch. They go for... Oh, they get a Quick Claw. Interesting. So Quick Claw Farlinx. Again, it doesn't really matter too much because we're going to switch out. I'm hoping that they go for a close combat so we can get that defense boost. Uh, special defense drop, sorry. That'd be nice for my Moonblast. They go for a reversal. Interesting. They're obviously expecting Empoleon to do something to it. Not in this instance. Not in this instance. Let's go for a Moonblast real quick. I feel like it's got a minute of delay. What, the stream has? It hasn't. It hasn't. It's, it's, if it's got a delay, you just need to re refresh the stream. Because I've got it on ultra low latency. Argrius comes in though. The Weavile. Interesting choice to switch. We get a nice and powerful Moonblast off on this thing. That does a lot of damage. They're going to triple axe on me now, aren't they? Hmm. Hmm. If they're going to triple axe us, do we go into Embor? Do we stay in and go for a... Let's stay in and go for a Moonblast. Poison Jab. Should have terrored. There's a lot of damage. If we go for a Moonblast, take out that Weavile. There we go. There we go. Bum, 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 bum. Let's see what they go into now that the Weavile's out of the way. Nice and shiny as well. Gotta love it. Noctowl comes in. Nice and shiny as well. Gotta love it. 
Um, I'd say Empoleon was our best Pokemon to go into here. So let's do that. You refresh to hopefully no delay. Yeah, there shouldn't be any delay. I've got it set to no delay. You got another ad? <laughs> All right. Hypnosis, Gazero, no. <laughs> no, not the Hypnosis tech. Okay. Okay. Let's go for an Ice Beam. Let's try and um, let's try and do it. So Omar, I'll, the code is 101196. So 10, 10, 11, 19, 96. Um, but I'll put in the chat when I'm searching. I'll put like searching on code, such and such. All right, Phalanx is here. Phalanx is here. Uh, let's go for... You probably have Iron Head, so I don't want to risk you. Let's go Salamence. Salamence would be a good one here. Salamence would be a good one here. Good old Tropicana coming through. Like so. Get that Intimidate off, but they do have Defiant, right? No, I don't think they do have Defiant. Does Phalanx have Defiant? It looks like... <laughs> what looks like piss? <laughs> the Knocked Owl. Anyway, they're going to go for a No Retreat, which is really unfortunate, but they can no longer switch. So we can go for a Hurricane real quick. And if we miss, it's unfortunate, but if, they, if we miss, we get that Blunder Policy. So we go for a Hurricane, we don't miss. And they Endure. So they're going to go for that Reversal Tech. We did lower their um, accuracy, but um, now we go for... I'm going to go for a Fire Blast because it's got more accuracy than Hurricane. Even though I kind of don't mind it missing. We missed. Oh no, that's not that's not good. But at the same time, it is. Because we got that Blunder Policy. Let's go. For another Fire Blast because it's more accurate. And we missed again. So we, we hit the Hurricane, but we missed two Fire Blasts. Reversal comes through. We live. We live to fight another day. I can't roost because I'll lose my flying typing. Um, for that turn, then reversal will KO me. So I've got to risk another fire blast. Endure again. I hope I burn. I hope I burn. Fire blast comes through. So I could have roosted there. Could have. Fire blast again. We hit? Yes, we hit. Nice. What's life in the UK like? Um, it's not too bad. Free healthcare and all that. That's always nice. Uh, good luck, though, Soup, with your shiny sandwich. Phalanx does get to find... Oh, interesting. So, that's cool. So, we know what they're going to do here. We already know what they're going to do here. They're going for that fell stinger sweep. I remember from last time. So I think Gengar's the way to go. I know. I'm going to go for a Fire Blast. There we go. We hit the Fire Blast. And there's no Focus Sash. Great. So Livani goes down. Putting Salamence coming through. The Blunder Policy Salamence coming through. I'm glad I'm not Life Orb like I originally put on it. Free healthcare. Yeah, free healthcare. It's great. There is still some private healthcare. Like, and private healthcare is quicker than the NHS, but... Sometimes. All right, Primarina is here. We definitely go into Empoleon here. We'll leave Salamence for later. Voxel, welcome to the stream. How are you doing today? Hope you're doing well. And the Empoleon is here now. They go for a Misty Terrain. Misty Terrain is an interesting tack to go for. And then I was expecting them to have the seed, the, psychic, the Misty Seed. I guess not. Let's go for a Flash Cannon. Just see how much damage it does. Obviously, we're not going to wake up this turn, but... How do my shinies have different colours? I've got a custom firmware switch. So I'm able to edit the textures of Pokemon. So I can change the shiny colours to whatever I want them to be. I can change the normal colours as well. It doesn't have to be the shinies. Like, for Salamence, for example, I changed its original colours to its Ruby, Sapphire, and Emerald colours. Because I think they look a bit better. We do wake up, though. Go for a Dab Flash Cannon. But they're pure water type now, thanks to Terra. And they go for a Sparkling Area. Americans have to pay for their lives to be saved. We get it done for free, exactly. Uh. Yeah, no, Cooper, you're right. The, the queues for the free healthcare are really long. But 
at the same time, it depends on what area you're in. Because where I live, it, you can usually get an appointment or whatever that same day. It's not too bad. They go for a hyper voice. We're going to go ahead and and uh, flip turn on them. I need something a bit more um, suitable to take on a pre-marina. Feels like people stub a toe and go to the hospital. <laughs> You're not wrong. People do go to the hospital for stupidest things in the UK. Like, for real. So we flip turn. So they're pure water type. We can go into Embor, I think. That's what I'm going to do. We should outspeed the pre-marina. And if we don't, I've got insurance. I've got this uh, nice and powerful uh, terrestrialization to go on. I think, I'll I think I'll Terra Steel now. Did I hear about the bag on method where they spawn out the wall? It's actually there. Were... I did not hear about that now. Yeah, well, it's a very beautiful day outside, Voxel. Very nice. It's uh, currently night time for me. So it's, it's a nice night, though. For sure. Close combat takes out the pre marina. We are good to go. We are good to go. Do my best. I always do my best. I try anyway. I try. Alright, so in comes Brazardia. Staraptor. Gets the Intimidate off, which is unfortunate. I guess the best thing for me to do is get the, uh, the, the, the Intimidate off on the Staraptor as well by going to Salamence. I think that's the best thing for me to do. So we're going to Tropicana. Get the Intimidate off. And they go for a close combat. There we go. So, worked out nicely for us. Now I can go back into Embor if I want to and Sucker Punch. Potentially. Let's see how this works out. So, what are, what are my other options? They could be Choice. So, they could be locked into close combat. So, I think, I think the best thing to go into is Gengar. Because we're immune to close combat. Nice and shiny. It, it looks very bright in this stadium. I will give it that. Not the biggest fan. Let us go for a sludge wave because it'll still hurt Noctowl as well. Sludge wave comes through. Down goes the Staraptor. Perfect. Perfecto. That is perfecto. And now we've got the Noctowl to face with. So this thing could set up Carmines on us. Could be doing the Carmine shenanigans. So I think my best bet is Embor once again. They could also go for a Psychic move. Because we're obviously a Poison type. So that could be a thing. Embor comes through. Hypnosis again? Is that a blunder policy knocked out with Hypnosis by any chance? I saw Hayden use that a little while ago. It worked pretty well. Let's go for a Flare Blitz. No reason not to. Obviously, we're asleep, so we can't, but um, let's see what this thing does. Moonblast. It's going to bounce right off my Ember. Yeah. Terra Steel. Terra Steel come through. Fast asleep still. That's unfortunate, but it looks like they haven't got much to hit us with, which is great. Dream Eater. Oh, I haven't seen that move in a while. Has anyone got a Dudden Sparse free segment for Mike in the chat? You hear end battle, end battle music in the, in the background. That's your favorite battle music. Brilliant. It's good good track, in it? And Noctowl had no chance of taking that Flare Blitz. I swear, Embor is one of the hardest hitting recoil move users in the game. It's got to be. What was my first shiny in Scarlet and Violet? Yours was a Mareep. Uh, my first shiny, I think, was a... What's uh, our, our Bolivar's uh, first evolution? Uh, Smoliv. It was a small live. I didn't realize it was shiny until I ran into it because obviously there's no sparkle, but my first one from the Indigo disc was a Geodude, which I KO'd because I didn't like it. <laughs> Mike, thank you for subscribing. I appreciate it. You know the speed. Yeah, yeah, GG Gazira. That was a fun one. I enjoyed that one. If you are playing by Smogon, though, Gazira, which I don't know if you are or not. If you're not, it's fine. Like, like, I, like I said at the beginning of the stream, I don't really care what people play. Um, but if you are playing by Smogon, you might not have heard that there's an actual, there's actually a new rule where sleeping moves have been banned. 
interestingly enough. Right, what time are we on? Crap. Okay, so the, um, I always plan for this stream to be a quick one anyway. So we've been streaming for an hour and that's all I've got time for tonight because I have got stuff that I need to take care of. So thanks for coming out, everyone. I appreciate it. Um, if I stream tomorrow, I'll be streaming longer and we'll be back on vertical streams as well because um, they seem to be doing really well. So thanks for coming out, everyone. And good night. Appreciate y'all. Y'all. But did I really just say y'all? I don't know.